What is it about aging that repulses the Nigerian? Why does old age seem more like a curse than a blessing? Did you read it? Forgetting that he will also grow old someday, should an elected governor utter such an ignorant and callous statement? He said, if they do not have children who can feed them, they should go home and die. He was referring to us, the retired civil servants, who assembled at government sub-treasuries once a month to collect our pensions and, almost equally important, see old friends. This exercise over time proved to be more destructive than alleviating what with unending tales of woe at the inhuman treatment meted out to people who had contributed significantly to the nation's development. Many did die while waiting for payment of pension and gratuity. Some others did not wait to get home. At least one, to my knowledge, collapsed and died in the treasury premises while waiting for his turn to collect his pension when such payments were made in cash. I saw the body. I am an old, old woman trying very hard to survive in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the younger generation. Indeed, it is very difficult. I am a hundred and five years old. Yes, yes, I have outlived my husband and children. My grandchildren have no time for me. They have written me off as that crazy old woman. So, what do I do now? Can I go back to my village? Of course not. I may be old, but I am certainly not stupid. Do they realize that I am aware of the things they say behind my back? That witch that has eaten her husband and children. Have you ever heard of anything so bizarre? I am way too intelligent 
to waste away amid people with such small minds. I need a place to stay. Can someone out there help me please? Yes, indeed you can. I appeal to you, children of the younger generation. You are young and you are strong. You can build a place for people like me where we can congregate, reminisce and not feel so old anymore. This letter comes to my mind, an old woman called Odia Devi, who returned to her village on retirement. Ada Obi Kezebu Makano. Obi Obi There was an incident of note while I was on the endless queue, also waiting to collect my form at the Treasury office. A man was going through the process of verification when he lost control of his bladder, probably as a result of prostate problem. Now, uh, back to Obiageli. Nam Wishi Mano Mahinam Nahuzo I'm happy to hear that you enjoy the food. I spend the whole day cooking for you. Isn't it? I am really tired. I need some sleep. I have to go to bed. Ezi boyim obiageli owogi ele ihi echeterem otaineje ya kwambo echeterem akwa nine charucha aineje yi oku echetere kandi madu sha kwa yi omale chamwa da luna nya iweterem Aga ma hongi echi, okwi otara i femneku. Ima na hwa de charm. Mano dimma, dal. Companionship, something we the old and almost forgotten, cherish more than life, as we dread loneliness even more than death. What do our elderly people do? It depends. In pre-colonial days, there were large shade trees and tree stumps where they congregated to pass the day away. They were, of course, no longer capable of the hard physical labor 
that farming implied. In more recent times, we, the retired city dwellers, congregated at our favorite spot every evening to catch up on the latest news about our colleagues, well, majorly to be updated about who is still alive and who isn't. There were also service clubs in some cities to which the lucky few could often spend all day. And although these clubs could not be regarded as old people's homes, being purely recreational and social, that one member burst into tears on getting to his club and finding that the club had been closed by court order as a result of litigation. His fellow pensioners joined in the wailing. The cities are increasingly populated by retirees who prefer to continue to live in a familiar environment among old friends than to start again in the villages they have only visited periodically for most of their working lives. One finds it difficult to say that Nigeria has even one old people's home. Our bones might be frail, but our hearts still crave for all forms of human emotion. Especially the positive ones. The city dwellers could and did send money and food home, but this clearly could not be enough. Two old friends, both old widows, both in their 80s and both with disabilities, serves to illustrate some of the problems the old are confronted with. They lived about a hundred meters apart, separated by an intervillage road and further prevented from visiting each other because one was blind and the other had severe arthritis. Same way some retired city dwellers with frozen limbs as a result of stroke or amputated altogether because of diabetes, struggled at bus stops, banks and other crowded places, and no one bothered to help ease their pain. Sadly, even government has directly or indirectly contributed to the ill treatment of our senior citizens. <laughs> 